Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. Meena, Head Department of Commerce from Petition College Chennai. In this video, I'm going to explain how to work out a contract account with an escalation clause. What do you mean by escalation clause? Suddenly, when we are carrying out any contracts, there may be a sudden rise in the price of the materials or the wages. For those situations, how a contractor will go into the agreement. So they will insist in the agreement between a contractor and contractee, what kind of compensation that a contractor will receive from the contractee during those situations. Let me discuss one problem. You will come to understand how to work out a contract account when we have a mission class. Look at this problem. XYZ construction company undertook a contract on 1-1-2004 for construction of a stadium with a, a station clause which provides that if material prices and wages rates increase by more than 12 percentage the contractor gets compensation for 35 percentage of such rise in the cost of material and wages beyond 12 percentage it was agreed that since signing of the agreement, metal prices and wages rates have gone up by 42 percentage on an average. The value of work certificate does not take into account the effect of escalation class. The following are the details to the contract for the year ended 31-12-2004. The contract is going to end on what date? 31-12-2004. The date started 1-1-2004. As per this problem, the agreement was if the wages or the price of it is going to increase by more than 12 percentage, as it is mentioned over here, the contractor then gets compensation from the contractee at what percentage? 35 percentage of such raise in the cost of material wages beyond 12 percentage for each one percentage which is beyond 12 percent is going to get a compensation for 35 percentage from the contract pay. So the thing is, the price of materials and wages rates originally increase, that is gone up by 42 percentage as for this problem. So let me check out the solution, how to work out in those situations, preparation of contract account. Look at the additional information in this problem. What is the contract price was given? Three lakhs. And expenses, material, wages, overheads, and what is the value of the plant installed for the contract? That value is 10,000. And the material on hand after the contract, but the value was given, that is going to be credited 5,000. Then work certified, two lakhs. Cash visit is one lakh sixty. What is the depreciation percentage? 10 percentage per annum. Work uncertified, that is work done but not certified was given 5,000. The question is, prepare a contract account and show the profit to be taken to PNL account. Now look at the solution. In as usual way, I put the uh, solution. Uh, just uh, enter XYZ Limited, contract account for the year ended 31-12-2004. The particulars on the debit side, materials, whatever the expenses that we incurred for carrying out the contract, we have to debit those items. So materials issued 60,000, wages 80,000, overheads 5,000 and depreciation plant I showed here. There are two ways, either I will show the plant the original value when the contract is going to start, the debit side and credit side I can show the closing value of the plant. That is one of the way. The another way is, I will show alone the depreciation of plant because this contract is going to be completed. So I will show only the depreciation on the plant. So plant value is 10,000 on that 10 percentage depreciation is 1,000 rupees. And I credited the what is the closing material value is given the problem 5,000. Work in progress. In this situation, we need to consider three things because we have an escalation class. So work certified. That was given and asked for the problem was 2 lakhs. Work uncertified was 5,000. Escalation compensation we need to calculate 
as per this problem, it came as 9,982. How I calculated? Now look at the small workings. I work it out. Calculation of escalation compensation, the materials. If the cost of material at the time of agreement, I assumed as 100, increase was 42% because as per the problem, look at this line. The cost of material prices and wages rates have gone up 42%. So the wages and material prices gone up 42%. So what is the value of the material? 142%. So how we need to work out means what is the value of the material uh, issued for the uh, purpose of contract that is 60,000. But 5,000 I direct over here. What is this 5,000 means? What is the closing material? That is is actually not utilized for this contract. So what is the worth of the material only I made use for this contract means 55,000. For this 55,000 only, as I am a contractor, to uh, eligible to get a compensation from the contractee. So you must consider this point. What is the value of the material actually issued to the contract? And is there any closing value of the material means I need to do that and find out the worth of the material only I utilize for this contract. First, calculate that amount so as for this calculation 55,000 and now look at that I divide the calculations into three what is the total increase and up to 12 percentage and beyond 12 percentage I calculated look at this calculation it will be easier for you to understand 55,000 is the worth of the material into what is the percentage increase 42 percentage so price of the material is 142 so total increase is 16,268. Up to 12 percentage is what is the increase? That is not uh, allowed for getting compensation. So total increase is 16,268. Out of this amount, I will not eligible to get compensation to the extent of 4,648 because up to 12 percentage increase in price of materials and wages is acceptable. Beyond 12 percentage only, you are as a contractor, I am eligible to get a compensation. So out of this total increase, 16,258, what is the up to 12 percentage? We need to calculate like that, 4,648. So beyond 12 percentage, what is the amount? 11,620 was the extra material cost that I am going to incur as a contractor. For this extent only, I am eligible to get escalation compensation I have an understanding up to 12 percent as a contractor i'm not eligible to get a escalation compensation beyond 12 percentage only i am eligible to get a compensation as per our calculation for the materials that came as 11,620. then we'll move on to uh wages for this kind of calculation 80,000 was the wages so 42 divided by 142 this is the total increase and we need to calculate what is the increase up to 12 percentage means 6761. So 23,662 minus 7, 6761. What is the beyond 12 percent increase? 16,901. So add these two amounts. What is the way, uh, total increase for materials and wages? That is 28,521. So increase in the contract price as per escalation class 28,521 into 35 percentage so where this 35 percentage is given in the problem look at this increase by more than 12 percentage the contractor gets compensation for 35 percentage of such raise in the cost of materials and wages so we need to work out this percentage only so 35 percentage increase in contract price as per escalation clauses 28,521 into 35 percentage 9,900 82 is my escalation compensation from the contractee. Now look back your contract account for this escalation class kind of problems and a work in progress. We must show work in progress, work certified, work uncertified, and escalation class. Looking at the working notes, and we add a value 9982 means what is the notional profit? There is a balancing figure. I'm getting balancing figure on the debit side for the incomplete contract the no profit is always termed as notional profit so 73,009 it is going to be complete only nearing completion only so still it is 
incomplete. So profit, whatever we are getting under this contract, is termed as notional profit. So seventy three thousand nine ninety two. So out of seventy three thousand nine ninety two, how much profit only transferred to PNL account, and how much will be kept as reserve? Looking at this working notes, and as usual way, I taught you in the previous videos calculation of profit transfer to PNL account. The contract price was three lakhs. It is given in the problem. So that is always assumed as hundred percentage means work certified two lakhs, which is what percentage? So have a cross multiplication. You we'll come to know what is the percentage? Sixty six point six seven percentage. So profit sixty six point six seven percentage means what golden rule we need to apply? That is two by three rule. So notional profit in two by three into cash received by work certified. Seventy three thousand nine eighty two into two by three into cash received is given in the problem. As one lakh sixty thousand, so divided by work certified two lakhs means you are getting thirty nine thousand four fifty seven. As to this section only, I can transfer the profit to PNL account out of seventy three thousand nine eighty two means what is the reserve to be kept thirty four thousand five twenty five. So this is the way we calculated the profit to transfer to PNL account out of seventy three thousand nine eighty two thirty nine thousand four fifty seven will carry to PNL account. The remaining balance will kept under reserve. So this is the way how we can prepare a contract account in a situation of escalation clause. Okay. Finally, I will teach you one more problem: how to work out the contract account for a incomplete contract. Sorry, completed contract. So look at this problem. This is a problem model: how to work out for a completed contract. AB Construction Company undertook a contract for constructing a building from 1/1/2010. The contract price was given one lakh, and we incurred the expenses material two thousand material in hand. The end means closing value of the material to be credited. Wages, direct expenses, indirect expenses are all given. Plan purchase is given, and then the wages is given as five thousand. Direct expenses here it is repeated. Sorry. Wages was five thousand. Direct expenses is twenty thousand. Look at the paragraph. The contract was completed June month itself. January it is started, and in June month it is completed. So it's a kind of you when you are reading the problem, you'll come to know whether it is incomplete contract or complete contract. So it is started in the January month, but it was end by June month means the contract was over. It was complete contract. So in this way, you will come to a conclusion how to work out the contract account. Depreciation percentage is given twenty percentage, and one more expense is given the problem. That is indirect expense at twenty percentage on wages. What is the wages value? Five thousand. Out of five thousand, what is the indirect expense percent? Twenty percent means five thousand in twenty percentage. What is the value of indirect expenses? Now look at the solution. How we work it out? As usual, debit side. We need to debit all the expenses. Material issue six thousand, wages five thousand, direct expense twenty thousand. Two indirect expenses on the wages twenty percent. It is mentioned the problem, so thousand we are getting. And then two depreciation. I said in the previous problem itself, uh, when it is going to complete the contract is going to complete. That is complete the contract means we just show the depreciation on plant itself. We don't want to show the opening value of the plant, the debit side. And closing value of the plant on the credit side. Just show the depreciation on plant that is more than enough for the completed contract. Again, I'm insisting. Just show the depreciation on plant applied for the completed contract. That is more than enough. So, what is the value of the plant into what is the percentage? And look at to what extent we made use of this plant. That is the duration is six months only. So when we work it out, thousand rupees the depreciation, and the credit side, what is the closing value of the materials by contractee's account? One lakh. So one lakh in this, this is the completed contract means instead of showing work in progress, we need to calculate. Uh, we need to show only the contract price under the term contractee's account, and get the total on the credit side, debit side, the balancing figure on the debit side only. Now look at that term. Earlier we mentioned notional profit for incomplete contracts, but in this kind of problem, this is completed contract. We need to mention only two PNL account. Okay, sixty-eight thousand. 
So this is the way how we will prepare a contract account for a completed contract. Since it's a completed contract, so the entire profit will transfer to PNL account. I hope this video will help you to understand how to work out a problem preparation of contract account and then under escalation class and preparation of contract account for completed contract. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe, share, and comment below. Thanks for watching. Stay home, stay uh, safe.